fucking negativity that goes along with that. It's really crazy, all these rumors and innuendo and just, it's really wild. And I mostly stay away from it, even during that time with my folks. I would check like my emails from fans and you know, log into my website and stuff. And then one night, I was feeling a little funky anyway, I sat down and I was like, you know what, I think I'll go on the internet and like search for myself. Just to see, you know, what the outside opinion is. And so I, I called up a buddy of mine. I go, hey, uh, I'm about to uh, search myself on the internet. And he paused and he goes, do you want me to stay on the phone with you? <laughs> I was like, is that really necessary? He's like, yeah, you might want me to stay on the phone with you. I typed my name into Google, and when I went to hit search, even Google was like, are you sure? <laughs> really? <laughs> And I sat there, I sat there, and I read for uh, probably three and a half hours some of the most mangy, negative, all this Dane Cook is the shit, and he should just fucking disappear. I read so much stuff after three and a half hours, I was like, this Dane Cook is a douchebag. <laughs> this, I don't support me anymore. I believe all of this. Now, what happened next was really funky, I'll tell you, okay? So one night I sit, and I'm checking my emails, like I told you guys, and an email comes into my inbox. And right 